finally did it. We are level 60, boys. Well, today, my friends, we're going to be doing the 1 to 60 best XP grinds possible for Hardcore Classic WoW. Now, we're going to do 1 through 30 separately for both Alliance and Horde, and then 30 and up, we're going to do both factions as they do kind of come together, say, starting in STV or Stranglethorn Vale. Now, above level 30, you got to start worrying about your mounts unless you're a lock or pally, so we're also going to be focusing on the mobs that not only give the best XP, but also give either the best raw gold or BOE drop percentage. Also in 1 to 30 for both factions it should be noted that levels 10 and under are just going to be your starting zone. When you leave that initial zone you want to try to be at least level 6. So we're going to start this from level 10 and we're going to start on the alliance side. So levels 10 through 13 the best grinding is going to be in Westfall from Harvest Golems. These are going to be level 10 through level 12 and you should be able to grant up to 12,000 XP per hour or get rather now from there level 14 through 16 also in westfall are going to be the harvest watchers which are level 14 through 16 themselves but can grant up to 18,000 xp per hour going on 17 18 19 and 20 we're going to be staying in westfall but this time grinding defias now these are going to be level 16 to 19 but can give up to 22,000 xp per hour also they are humans so just a bonus loot little bit there now also I should say this guide up for interpretation you can go one level higher or one level lower on just about any of these and they're gonna stay within the green to if you go one level higher sometimes the yellow zone it's just how confident you are or how risky you are now we're gonna go levels 21 through 25 now this is a big grind but these are gonna be in Duskwood these are going to be these skeleton mages they're level 21 through 23 now the skeletal war Warriors are right there grouped up with them. They're going to be giving you the same XP and also some fairly decent drops, but you'll get up to 18,000 XP per hour grinding these. Moving on, levels 26 through levels 30, we're going to be staying in Duskwood, but we're going to be farming ghouls. That's right, level 26 through level 30 ghouls. They have decent drops, but the best part is you'll get up to 24,000 XP per hour. All right, so that is your 1 through 30 on Alliance. Let's Let's go ahead and move to Horde. Now for Horde, much like Alliance, everything level 10 and under is going to be your starting zone. But come level 10 all the way through level 14, you're going to want to farm the wildlife, primarily the plain striders and the lions inside of the barrens. These are found in a ring. You can just run right around the crossroads. They should be level 11 through 14. And pretty big here, they'll give up to 18,000 XP per hour. Now 15, 16, and 17 also in the barrens, but you're going to want to run down and to the east for the North Watch Hold. These are going to be the human soldiers inside the hold, level 14 through 16, and they'll grant up to 22,000 XP per hour. Again, if you're a tailor, these are humanoid mobs, so lots of good cloth drops, as well as health and mana pots, which are extremely useful. Now levels 18, 19, 20, and also 21, we're staying in the barrens no big surprise but we're going to be farming the level 16 through 19 raptors and those guys as well are going to be giving us up to 22,000 xp per hour it's just the soldiers will become pretty green at that point and just won't give as much once you hit say level 18 even level 17 you can go a little bit early on these raptors they're not too terrible so 22 through 24 we're going to be farming the bristlebacks inside of the barons yet again yes yes these are going to be level 16 through 19 but we'll give up to 25,000 xp per hour so about 3,000 more than those raptors and again you could probably start these at 21 just watch out for the casters they have quite a large aggro range and and they hyper spawn quite a bit as well there so watch out for that now levels 25 through 28 we're going to be going a little bit south down into the thousand needles we're going to be farming the gallic centaurs and these are level 24 through 27 much like the casters on the bristleback watch out for the archers these will however give you 30,000 upwards of 30,000 xp per hour 
which is great when you're starting out like level 25. So now 29 through all the way up through 32 you can do these, but 30 we're going to start our both factions just for the gold per hour. So again in Thousand Needles you're going to be farming the 27 through 31 wyverns and these will also give 30k xp per hour so this is really if you hit level 29 and you get tired of farming the centaurs because you can find some higher level ones it's just good to go down to the wyverns so you can maintain that 30k xp per hour all right let's head to stranglethorn and start doing the both factions with better drops xp guide Alright, so 31 through 34, even up to 35 if you'd like, we're going to be farming the Stranglethorn Tigers and Panthers, and they themselves are 31 to 35. Now these are going to give 26,000 XP per hour, but all the way up to that level 35, plus their raw gold is fairly decent, and if you're a skinner, you can make really, really good bank off of all this farming. So at 36, 37, we're going to be going a little bit west over to Desolus. Now some of the best BOE drops I got while leveling were from these mobs. These are going to be the Centaur Villages, mainly the Magrum Village where the Centaurs are level 32 through 36 and will grant upwards of 30k XP per hour. From there we're going to be going all the way over to Badlands in the Dust Bowl where through 38, or 38 rather, through 40, we're going to be farming the lesser rock elementals. Now these can drop the essence of earth, which is great for many crafters. They're level 37 through 39. And big jump here as they're going to give upwards of 40,000 XP per hour. Okay, from here, 41 through 41 rather through 43, that's a tongue twister for you. We're going to be going back to Stranglethorn, so we're going to head south there, and we're going to be farming the level 40 through level 42 raptors, those as well giving up to 40,000 XP per hour. Are you ready for this? Because it's a loop, something you should be used to at these levels. From here, we're going back to the Badlands to Camp Cag. We're going to be farming ogres. My favorite mob to farm is ogres. They're just squishy big boys, and, and I've never had issues with them. So we're going to farm the level 41 through 45 ogres. They have great drops and grant up to 40k XP per hour. Next, 46 through 49, we're going to Feralos, or more specifically going to the Freyfeather Highlands, where we're going to be farming the level 44 through 47 Hippogriffs, and they'll grant about 35,000 XP per hour, but the raw gold pickups from these are absolutely amazing for that level, and if you still by now, halfway into your 40s, don't have your mount, you definitely need to get onto that. So levels 50 through 53, we're going to be going to as Shara. Now this is something that you can quest through because these are the best XP per hour for this level, but the Nagas, more specifically the 52 through 54 ones along the beach, can be very, very dangerous. They're like Murloc's second cousin. Their hyper spawn is crazy and they have some abilities that can really catch you off guard. So they will grant upwards of 40k XP per hour, they give amazing raw gold, and their BOE drops are absolutely wonderful for that level. So next, 54-55, we're going to Felwood, and we're going to be farming Firbolgs up into the north at the Firbolg camp. These are going to be Den Watchers, Pathfinders, things like that, level 48 to 50. Amazing drops, you get the Timber Maw rep, and upwards of 45,000 XP per hour. After that, we go to Winter Spring, and Winter Spring is going to close us off, starting with 56 and 57. We're going to be farming more Winterfall uh, Den Watchers and Pathfinders, the level 53 through 56 Furbolgs, and get this, upwards of 50,000 XP per hour, plus that juicy, juicy rep. So 58 through 60, we're staying in Winter Spring, but we're going east a bit, and we're going to be farming the Ice Thistle Yetis in the Yeti Cave. These are level 55 through 59. Don't go into the caves just yet because there are elites in there, and you, you don't need any of that. They will give upwards of 55,000 XP per hour, and um, 
yeah after that you should be level 60 now the real grind begins if you found this guide helpful i really would love a subscribe i am very new on here and if you want to catch a live show we're about to be doing a bunch of raiding that's right we have zg and mc coming up this week which will be streamed live my twitch link will be in the description 